All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. This is your area and surface area review video. I'm really just showing you what you need. So this is going to be a quick video, but you might have to pause it to get everything written down. Okay? So as far as area goes, um, you will be given that air test review sheet, but not with anything written on it. So the only thing you get from that is a circle is pi r squared, a triangle is one half base times height, and a parallelogram, a parallelogram, and that's just base times height. Okay? Okay, so all the ones below this line, you guys need to know. Let me do a better job with that line. Okay, so you need to know that a square, well, why do they call it squared? Because area is side squared, okay? Uh, a rectangle area is base times height. Keep in mind that in a rectangle, the height is part of the figure, and in a parallelogram, the height is not. Okay? A rhombus. Now, you don't have to memorize rhombus if you don't want. You can always just remember that the diagonals are parallel, find the area of the triangles on the inside, and do it that way. But if you prefer to memorize equations, this is one half D1 times D2, okay? And you got a kite. Same thing. Area is one half D1 times D2. But remember that the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other, and so you can always just find the area of the triangles, okay? Then you got a trapezoid. And for that area, is average base, okay? So big base plus little base divided by two times the height. If you're alarmed because earlier I told you it was one half base plus base times the height, that's the same thing, so don't sweat it. Average base times the height, okay? And then for a regular polygon, Okay, the area is one half perimeter times a possum. Okay, and so if I just show you a little rudimentary hexagon there, hopefully you understand what the perimeter is or you're in the wrong class. This thing. The height of that triangle, that's the opossum, okay? All right, so now we've got all of our surface area stuff. You're not given any of these, but worse comes to worse, if you have enough time, you can always just break them up into their individual shapes and find the surface area that way. So for instance, if you wanted to find um, like the surface area of that, you could just say, OK, I'm going to find the area of three rectangles and two triangles and add them all up. That'll work. Okay, But here are your equations. For a prism, okay. Um, well, let's do this. You got surface area, and then you got base area, or I'm sorry, then you got lateral area. So surface area is two times the area of the base plus the perimeter of the base times the height. Lateral area is just the perimeter of the base times the height. Okay. For a cylinder, 
hopefully you see how similar these are. Surface area is 2 times pi r squared plus 2 times pi r h. Okay, 2 times the area of the base plus the circumference of the base times the height. Okay, well the lateral area is just perimeter times height. But instead of perimeter, it's a circle, so we use circumference. So it's 2 pi r times h. Or it's pi times d times h. Okay? For a pyramid, well, those sides are triangles, and there's only one base. So the surface area of the pyramid is capital B, which is area of the base, plus one half the perimeter of the base times the height. I decided that every time I use a capital, it should stand for of the base. So area of the base, perimeter of the base. Okay. The lateral area of a pyramid is just one half perimeter. Uh oh, that should be slant height. Sorry, you got to erase. That should be slant height. Slant height. Slant height. Slant height. Slant height. I messed that up. Okay. And then for a cone, again, I hope you see the similarities between a pyramid and a cone. A cone, the surface area is pi r squared plus pi r l. Okay, these are the same thing. The area of the base is pi r squared. I think you understand that pretty well. One half of the perimeter is pi r. Can you understand that? I don't know. One half of the circumference is pi times r. Okay, and the lateral area you guessed it, is just pi r l. So maybe you remember from my earlier video that like these just sound good like in rap songs. So 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, it flows. This one, pi r squared plus pi r l, it just kind of flows, okay? And finally, we have a sphere. A sphere doesn't have lateral area, that's what makes it so fun to play with, and that is surface area equals 4 pi r squared, okay? I hope this helps you get ready for your quest tomorrow. Your quest will be counted as a quiz and a test, okay? Boom!